How important is it now for Iraq's politicians, the senior... Um, what is the embassy doing to try to prod the government? Security talks that talks about security in Iraq, uh, uh, trilateral talks with Iran and Iraq and the United States. As Ambassador Crocker has made very clear, uh, we would expect another round of those talks. There is uh, no schedule uh, at this point, um, but we, uh, we do keep that channel open. As you know, there have been uh, three meetings uh, in the past. We've talked about them, them here. Um, the agenda for those talks, of course, doesn't change. It, it is uh, restricted to the security in Iraq, and under that framework, uh, we would be talking about uh, concerns, our concerns, uh, with Iranian activities that detract from security in Iraq rather than, than add to it. On this Sunday, we have a briefing tomorrow uh, by Major General Hurtling. Before coming over here, I received an initial brief on this morning's uh, rocket and mortar attacks. Um, as you point out, there were multiple locations. Um, right now, we're obviously working our way through assessing the uh, attacks which did occur and the level of damage. We do not have any reports of any deaths. There were some casualties associated with those rocket attacks. Uh, there were some uh, infrastructure and equipment uh, uh, that were damaged as a, as a result of those attacks. Thank you very much. Uh, early this morning, uh, we got attacked by uh, indirect fire. Uh, my main concern was my neighbors around the cop. Uh, these are not just Iraqi people to me, these are my neighbors that are getting hurt. So I immediately sent out my people to check, uh, see if anybody was hurt first, so we can provide some uh, immediate aid. And if nobody was hurt, then we continued to canvas the area for unexploded ordnance.